<laughs> okay, so I believe we're live now. Welcome, welcome on in. If you guys are catching us live, we have four certified detoxification specialists here to serve you on your spring reset. Happy spring equinox, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. How, how is it going for you, Candy? I know uh, you really inspired me to get on just all fruits and juices for a few days and really just reset with this season change and this full moon, which is a really powerful time to be doing detoxing. How are you feeling? How's it been going? It's going well. I feel great. Uh, yesterday, day one was easier than I expected. Um, I don't know. I rested outside a lot. I, I took a long time before I broke fast. Um, didn't have my first juice until, I don't know, it was after 1 p.m. Uh, what's even more interesting or you know exciting to talk about is how brian is doing i was um, gonna ask you how is he doing this is huge for him right coming off the standard yeah. western diet yeah coming off Who's of brian? preservatives coming That's off her of partner. neurotoxins you know coming off of neurotoxins that kind of thing um this morning he said he already feels less groggy when he wakes up and you know and because this takes a while he would be groggy in the shower and I can remember now so I you know 2015 is when I started this whole rigor roar but guys don't you if you think back of how you used to feel remember when you'd wake up but you really wouldn't be awake you know and you would take a shower and still kind of feel sleepy Absolutely. and maybe you're driving yes. to work and you still kind of feel sleepy and it's all these things that you're doing to yourself to try to get really fully awake and make, and there goes the go the joe the cup of coffee and the, <laughs> and, this, and all these stimulants and then boom maybe by 10 a.m wow then you feel anyway so he already feels um feels less groggy so we'll keep a keep a uh, out, eye out on him because what I'm wanting to know next is if he's going to start hearing more crackling and popping in his joints and less stiffness and pain in his thumbs and his neck. That's yes. what I really want to watch. Okay, I would and like the to snoring share. And, the, yes. and, and one more thing and snoring for him. He's a mouth breather like 24 seven, a mouth breather during the day. We watched a, a breather a video a long two hour video on nose breathing it was a, like a, it was really, really well done. And so he is practicing it. Um, we haven't got to the point where we put a little bitty, bitty piece of tape on your lips at night, just a, like the size of a stamp is all you would put anyway. Did so you post that video. Yeah. I think you posted that in the group about the nose breathing. Cool. That was that was pictures and posts I that see. I posted. This okay. is a video. These are well, two we can reach out to you for this, yeah. Huh? We could reach out to you for the link for this. Yeah, yeah, reach yeah. Out that sounds interesting. And you yeah. taught me a lot, Candy, too, about you always referred to like in the joints having like sand. I remember watching some previous videos that you have you had made, and I was like, she's so true. Like you felt, I think somewhere in one of your joints, there was like some crystals, some sand at one point. It was years yeah, ago. Like, like gritty, you know, yes. and, and then it sounds like gra uh, glass okay. breaking and pop, you know, breaking in your neck. Exactly. And stuff. That's exactly what I have in my jaw. And it was way worse before doing this. Like I'm only day, what we've done day one together. Congratulations. If anybody is on the spring reset, we're so proud of you. You're doing so well. I actually feel amazing myself. I feel really proud of myself. I feel really supported in this community. Thank you all so much. This actually just alleviates so much of this. So there's just a little bit of sand when I open really wide and and I received some cranial sacral the day before we started. This is a sort of massage. And this beautiful woman has been doing it for over 30 years in Toronto. Just, it felt like mama bear energy. And she goes, you know, you're going to feel this over the next few days. And I thought, isn't that cool that that's in alignment with my spring reset, that I'm going to feel everything releasing and draining because of her 
tender touch, I would say. It's almost like a form of osteopathy, if you're familiar with that. And uh, yeah, I just want to say um, we have one one participant who reached out to me and she's done so well you know we're here to support you guys if you want to just transition yeah. over to a more raw living food lifestyle of abundance and if you want to come full on with the fruit feasting and the juice feasting that we're doing this one client she was so sweet she actually texted me last night saying she didn't make it through the whole day on all fruit feasting which was something she was thinking she might do. But it's amazing because I commend you, dear one, because you started with juice, you made it till 2 p.m. Then you had a salad at lunch. Like basically she just had the salad with a little bit of cooked Brussels sprouts, nothing too cooked, mostly raw. And then for, for dinner, she had more fruit. So I just want to commend anyone for their efforts here in this group, in this community. And I just thank you so much, Candy, for really motivating me to jump on. So I want to hear from Kuba. Kuba, how has the spring reset been for you? So happy to have you from Spain. This is so cool. What's Mallorca, up? Spain. <laughs> Lots um, of nice fruit there, yeah. It's funny. I got like two accounts open here, but it's both me. Oh, this is weird because I'm using my mic for my phone and my camera for my laptop because I don't have the, the headphone jack for it works uh, it works okay well hopefully it's not too loud I'm doing well so I did I'm doing basically juices and watermelon that's what I decided and yesterday I just basically drank juice so I'm still on juice I thought it's a Sunday it's a nice day like I could relax um, I didn't sleep much this weekend, so being on just like watermelon juice, orange juice, and some green juice, I took a nice like two-hour nap, just like really rested, and for me, what I'm coming off of, <laughs> if I'm like detoxing off something, it's coffee. I've gotten into a little bit of a coffee addiction because, like you see, I'm at a cafe. It's a good place to like hang out and do work and stuff, and then it's just nice to have a coffee, so then next thing you know, I got it a little too much so yesterday thankfully on a sunday i got to rest relax and then i felt good it just um like a little bit like some head aches or you can see me in the small screen pointing a little bit of like headache of the coffee but i just felt like like happy processing it knowing that i'm gonna go that i'm gonna like release some of those coffee toxins and just like reset so I've been feeling really good on just liquids and just like taking it easy. And then today I'm going to probably eat some watermelon for dinner. So I'm excited to so get back into like the fruity vibe. <laughs> and how much juice would you say you're drinking each day? Uh, so I drank, let's see, I made the watermelon juice. I made a few liters and I drank probably like, let's see if I can turn my camera on here. Upside I'm upside down. down. <laughs> you drank so, a few liters, you said. Yeah, so I no no, I made a few liters so that okay. I can have it for like a couple of days. I think probably like two liters of watermelon juice. And I drank a liter of orange juice, a liter of green juice. I probably had five liters yesterday of juice at least. Amazing. Amazing. What's the weather like? <laughs> like in spain well in mallorca i'm just gonna give up on the computer <laughs> and i'll need to know in fahrenheit keep it as a backup. oh fahrenheit for our tennessee oh. ladies so i would have to check but it's like um so about 13 degrees do you know fahrenheit jeanette by any chance Oh, that might be 43 degrees. Did you figure this out one time, Jen? It's like basically 32, maybe a 32 degree difference. Because if you're you're my with... intellect, where do I go to for this? I, I don't retain this kind of stuff. <laughs> but I just want to yeah. say, um, Kuba, if you. Oh, 16 degrees, 15 degrees, and it's like cloudy. It's been cloudy lately, but a couple of weeks before it was like sunny and nice. So it's like 15, 16, 17, getting towards 19. It's coming days, which is like. You know, 20 is when you can start like being in a t-shirt kind of thing. So it's like so getting cool. it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer, but it's not beach. Amazing. Yet. Amazing it that like you're there. He lives behind you. I didn't yeah, know he lives near, near a beach. beach. I'm at he a surf bar, a actually. I'm at a surf bar. Do people like surf, surf right captain. now or is the water too cold? 
No, they actually surf more now and in the winter than in the summer because it's more windy. So they wear wetsuits and they're like, there's, there's some regular surfing, but it's more like windsurfing and kite surfing. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That's so cool. So how's Pascal? Pascal, you're so welcome here. Thank you for joining in. I'm doing Ottawa. fine. Thank you. It's nice to meet Cuba. Is yes. That Yes, nice to meet you, Pascal. Yeah, it's Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so Cuba. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Um, for me, it's the same thing. It's that coffee, you know. And you know, I did get, I did have a coffee yesterday morning, but the rest of the day was fasting and a nice big plate of fruit at the end of the day. Uh, but I want to. Um, Candy, what you mentioned about um, loosening up, you know, the body loosens up when we fast. And that's what I'm expecting. That's what I, I'm experiencing too. Um, but I'll, I'll jump onto that concept and move to, you know, just loosening up, being open. It, just like you said, uh, Jeanette, it's spring, right? So I'm really happy to be doing this with you guys because I'm <clears throat> I've been going through a whole lot. I mean, just like everybody else, but um, the the pandemic is kind of it's coming down to an end. I think people are ready to open up and start living again. Um, so <clears throat> what I've been I. I saw a whole lot of people, a whole lot of my friends yesterday, and that, that's been helping me on the spiritual level and emotional level because uh, for me, it's been difficult this past, the past lockdown has been difficult to me, as is probably for everybody else on the globe. But um, what I realize, I just want to, I just want to put this out there, we live in a acidic society and so it is difficult to go on an alkaline diet and then try to function in a, in an acidic environment so i just thought that was interesting that's uh, so interesting such a good and point so, and but to go further i finally told myself well hell i've got a lot of stuff to do in the in the world and i've been trying to you know i've been i've been trying this perfectionism is is a character defect sometimes it doesn't work to try to be perfect all the time so i kind of just said the hell with it and accepted that sometimes i'll have to embody the matrix and 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 jump into the acidity mm -hmm. and accept that, okay, well, I'm eating this acidic food, the cooked food, the coffee, the bad stuff. I feel like shit when I do. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to say that that's why I'm so excited to be here with you guys, because that's, this is a kick in the butt for me and say, hey, it's actually not that difficult to jump on a fruit diet uh, to sort of sail through what happens to the body when when we switch our 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 diet to a correct diet, you know. Yes, and I'm really thank you for that, Pascal. I'm really interested to know how are you all doing. If you're here with us live or catching the recording, how are you doing in that regard? You know, are you coming over to more alkaline forming? you know, foods and behaviors, lifestyle choices, these are life changes, you know, so let us know how you're doing. It's a rare opportunity to have the four of us certified regenerative detox specialists together, you know, on one call. So please, you know, let us know your questions. Let us know, are you on the spring reset? Are you just curious to cleanse? You know, uh, cleansing is really not an event, even though we did this three day event, it's really a life journey. And we have to understand, like Pascal, you were saying every day, we're accumulating waste, you know, acids and toxins, whether it be through our diet, our emotions, 
our mental states, our thought patterns, you know, it's like we need to be constantly purifying this vessel, this temple, you know, and we're here to support you with that. So I'm so happy. Thank you so much, guys. You know, this group wouldn't have been formed without the three of you. So the Raw Reset is just a beautiful platform to come together in community and just support one another, even if we're not perfect. You know, uh, Kind, it's funny that you brought that up at the beginning of the call. You know, you're noticing my perfectionism, I think. Um, I can be, you know, with my Virgo rising, I could be a little bit like this sometimes. So I'm learning to be a little bit more relaxed. And I think, uh, you know, you really helped me with that, Candy. And I want to know, Candy, do you plan to stay on a spring reset for a, a while? Like, is this really your lifestyle? Because I know you're constantly like on juice all the time. And I don't oh, really God. see you going too crazy with the food, you know? Love you. Um, <laughs> Love no, you. Here's, uh, this year has been a little bit different for me uh, as far as the time of year that I love to do a solid food vacation is when apples are in season. I'm in middle Tennessee area, America, and land of the me. And anyway, it's so, um, uh, we're usually around November, you know, mid to late November, December through this time and then I'm and then I'm done why because apples start to get shoddy you know the quality and then <clears throat> your price per pound and and because uh, I'm going to buy them by the case if I'm juicing so really this time of year with me starts transitioning over to um you know more decent tomatoes or, or decent cucumbers that I can find in the store, you know, and that's why another reason I like to do a solid food vacation during those months that I told you, because produce in the stores quality and, and really just being able to, to get a decent cucumber. I know that that might sound silly. I love cucumbers. Okay. So that's my noodles. It's I make not cool silly. It's and not I dice to them. us. So big cucumber tomato in the salad in the in the summer. And that's a lot of my salads is cucumber tomato blah. Anyway, so and then get fancy with the sauce. But um yeah, so that and you know, I'll say this. The reason why I want to jump on solid food vacations now has changed, I would say, a lot sometimes from when I initially did it or you know going wrong I, I could act, say it like this probably more uh accurately incur it my inspiration or encouragement to even stay raw to stay all raw is influenced differently now than than what it was to begin with now it's because I have done it you know and and stayed raw 100% for a long, long time. And you notice that your breath is better when you wake up every morning. Um, yeah, you know, less, less face swelling or, uh, you know, I'm trying to think about that. Or you notice that you never, ever snore if you don't eat cooked or, or you don't have any processed foods, that kind of thing. And then, oh my gosh, I was snoring bottles, you know, that those things. Um, and uh, you know, just how you smell in general, you know, how your pee smells, you notice that kind of starts changing again. And you know how your bowels move. You with me? You feeling it's me? It's so true. I woke up this morning and my mouth tasted like, like berries and melons. I was like, whoa, like it doesn't even feel like I need to brush my teeth. Cause like, okay. So the night before the spring reset started, I just had a fruit dinner. Um, I treated myself, I put a little coconut milk in the acai bowl. It was an acai bowl. Uh, so yesterday, spring reset, no coconut milk. I, I kind of treat myself like a little baby, like with the coconut milk and the coconut water. Like, I feel like that's what you would feed like a 10 month old as they're coming off mother's milk. You know, lots of fruits, lots of berries, melons, and give them some coconut milk, just especially, you know, in the colder months, just to kind of get a little extra heat going because the metabolism 
right? Has to support that digestion. Uh, it does slow down detox. So I'm really happy to be off of the, the fat and see how I do for a few days. I wanted to ask you, Kuba, you know, your mom did a whole fruit feast or juice feast or something. I remember watching some of your YouTube videos or some, some content you, you shared with juice, the public. Juice, juice feast, yeah. Yeah, how did she do? Because I want everyone to know here who's catching us live or is catching the recording, like it's never too late to detoxify the body and to make it a daily journey and all ages can do this. So how, how did your mother do it? She did amazing. That would be I'm great. I'm happy to share because first, the story is like so epic because when I started my journey, she thought I was crazy. I did a 90 day juice feast, 91 day juice feast in 2017. And she thought I lost it. And she was just like, what's, what's, what's wrong with this boy? Like, he's going to kill himself kind of thing. But like, that was a learning process for me. That was when I was in the middle of this whole, like, uh, learning and realizing what detox and all that is. And then uh, fast forward a few years, she finally, like, started coming around when, like, I would leave for a few months after living with her and, like, juicing regularly, just offering her juices, not really thinking about it. And then leaving for a few months, coming back, and she's saying she had back pains. And I was like, oh, you're dehydrated. She's like, yeah, that's what the doctor said. I was like, don't worry. Like, I just got back to the regular juicing, feeding her juices. And within a few days, her back pain was gone. Her pains were gone. Like, she felt much better. So she real started realizing, like, this stuff works, you know. And then she just joined me that same year, that summer. That was last. So basically almost, let's say, two years ago. She joined me on a seven-day juice fast. I was doing, I was doing it, and she just took it one day at a time. She's like, "I might do one day with you," and then she's like, every morning she'd wake up like smiling and checking herself in her underwear, in the mirror, and on the scale That's looking at so the number cute. go down, and she was just like so happy, oh and she God. felt so good those seven days. So a year later, she came to Mallorca to visit me. She stayed five months. I was doing celery juice every morning, and then uh, oranges are just amazing here. And the season is for many months. Hopefully, you hear me well because there's some. Yeah, no, here. it's fine. Don't worry, it's okay. perfect. Thank you. Yeah, so citrus, and then we got into like this habit because I was work. I'm working teaching English. She would wake up, bef like, and make me celery juice and make me fresh orange juice, and I would like take it to school. And so we we're drinking a lot of juice, and then I did a 21 day juice cleanse, and same thing. She's like, "I'll join you for a day or two. And then she felt good. And she's like, I'll, I'll do four days. I'll do four days with you. And then at four days, she's like, you know, I might as well just do a week. I could do a week with you. And then she just kept going. And she stayed the whole 21 days with me. And she started feeling so good. And I remember like going to the grocery store, got to walk uphill. She would always have to stop and take a break. My mom is 73 years old, by the way. And I noticed, I'm like, mom, you don't stop and take a break. She's like, she's not losing her breath. She's like, yeah, I could breathe way better. She has more energy. Like she doesn't have to stop to take a breath. Her blood pressure meds, she like, she had so many and the doctor said only take it if you need it. And she went back to, to Canada after five months with a bunch of pills like that not used. Oh she never my had to take God, it. Kuba, this story so makes me epic. so happy. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing. I, I went through struggles and stuff. I had my own story, but my mom was just like feeling amazing getting better and better so i love something it. something that your story just reminded me of is like how i think about you a lot candy i think about how you're a caregiver you know and i'm getting chills as i think about this because like we all are you know we're all healers we just have to learn to heal ourselves first and it's like the the work you're doing with your son candy and your partner is just so beautiful like this dedication like hearing Kuba's story about his mom now suddenly making him juices like just imagine what in a couple of years is going to be like for you Candy like any words on this like maybe Eli starts juicing for you or something this is her 10 year old son is he 11 now is it his birthday today oh you're muted sweet one sorry you're muted start again please you guys can't read lips yeah. <laughs> so it's uh it was yesterday and oh. yeah he's a spring baby oh uh, golly i would love to see him make juice or work the juicer that would be uh that'd be you know what brian made his own orange grapefruit juice yesterday 
Um, he didn't strain it, but he didn't know, but that's okay. That's okay. Totally cool. You know? Mm-hmm. So anyway, but he made it like with the, with my citrus press, with my juice press. You presser. must feel so proud. Yeah. I was like, you, you use the jack that user yeah he's like he's a yeah you know so he has seen me use it you know and he's been cutting for me some more and um when i do the apple stuff but you know with him i really i i'm assuming he, he felt okay if he had any bad cravings or anything he didn't let on yesterday he drank very little juice and um you know he could have drank more juice probably but I, but i wasn't I wasn't paying him any attention. I, I really didn't. Um, so I don't know, but I know he had, um, <laughs> he had grape and lemon because, you know, a kind of a protocol I had wrote out for him because being with him a little bit, I know that he can't drink apple juice all day. He's not going to do that. He's not going to drink apple juice all day. It's, it's too much. It's too sweet. It's too, it's, you know, too much of the same thing even maybe. Right. I really, so, I really, yeah, so I said, we'll start with a pint of grape lemon, yeah. then have a pint or quart of orange with yes. or without grapefruit, Amazing. and then, you know, a pint of apple juice, apple apple lemon, and maybe a little bit of celery in it just to cut the sweet just a little bit. So, yes. yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there, it's, um, I feel like uh, with Eli, I had him kind of just at a, at a really good place, um, before Brian moved in. I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind sharing this. Brian has heard it. And he, I think he kind of gets it. And then when we love Brian, this is all a learning experience. Um, Eli was mucus, very lean, 100% no animal flesh and no dairy at my house and had been that way since I learned this in 2015 and, you know, and it took me just real quickly to get him off the flesh and dairy. Me, it was overnight, boom. For him, just really quickly. And then, and then I found other, uh, I found what to, you know, how I could, what I, how I could uh, get him something that he liked and, and it didn't have flesh in it basically. Okay. Um, so we've taken some, some different step, some step, uh, you know, Eli has been in, been seeing some things that he <clears throat> wasn't used to having back in the house and things like that. So really, it's kind of like now I'm working with them both again to even maybe just be mucus lean or, you know, and, and maybe to point out, and I want to say this to everyone, really, is if, if you could transition to a whole food diet cooked you know and really look at cutting out canola oil salt preservatives you know citric acid all the dextrins the high fructose corn syrup derivatives because those are neurotoxins a lot of your really displeasing characteristics or maybe you how you handle things and process things would greatly improve huge huge improved that's so wonderful very good very good thank you so much for sharing that actually on that note you know I just wanted to know Pascal and I kind of dive a little deep on our uh you know bi-weekly chats in the group I wanted to know Pascal anything coming up for you mentally emotionally spiritually that you feel called to share during this spring reset we're talking about the spring reset by the way everyone if you're catching us live or the recording just drop a comment below if you have any questions but I'd love to hear from you in that regard Pascal Ooh, um I don't know if I can go Putting into you on that the spot lot. if, if it's um, not that it's fun um i guess all I'll, I'll say about that is that you know we're we've been locked in depending on where you are uh we've been locked in for two years with this pandemic and so it's like a layer of fear and a bunch of other layers of you know darkness i don't know so um it's been tough for everyone um and for me it's actually i think 
it's too early in the fast for me to start feeling uh feeling things uh just because <laughs> just because I don't know why that's funny to me <laughs> it's cute. that's fine no but the the beginning stages of okay. the fast for me sometimes it takes i don't know it depends uh i i, I don't know i was expecting the yesterday to be difficult yesterday night to be difficult but um i had a late night big plate of fruit and that was pretty awesome for me and i had some tea at the end i slept well so and i'm expecting the the detox you know like for coffee coffee is so strong that if you take it every day and you stop the first couple of days i have a headache usually which i don't today i might have it tomorrow you know things might unblock tomorrow and then i'll get really aggravated or irritable you know i'm expecting that to happen. i love that we say it with such joy <laughs> we're gonna get <laughs> right. aggravated and have a headache jump for joy we're getting something out <laughs> but i'd like i'd like to talk about what kuba uh mm -hmm. brought up um, with his story, and that's, um, you know, we all have loved loved ones around us, and I've looked at them and said, "Gee, if only they knew how easy it is. If only they knew how fast you get results." Just like Cuba and his, his definitely had that thought many times. Yeah, yeah. and to see how. You know, all um, she just saw you. Uh, she saw the results that you were having, and then she said, "Okay, fine, I'll give it a try." And I think that's the only method we can. Um, we can't push people to do it. We can't force others to do it. I don't think that's the right way. We have to allow them to come to us, and then then they'll, they'll try it by themselves and hey my my mom's the same my parents are the same age right um and they're aging and it just it opens up my heart to hear that you know your mother tried it and then she said okay i'll go i'll keep going i'll keep going and then um she, you just the body just the body is so happy to be fed the right food that you see it already you know things open up you're not tight anymore it's loose it's happy it's life you know and i guess that you know that's just what i wanted to say that this is it's such a such a wonderful tool that we have at our disposal and so my question is you know what i'm interested in is how do you how do you let people know i think just by being yourself being open talking about it with whomever and whatever and then the <laughs> right people will come up to you and say hey i'm interested you know what do you suggest i do and then you know just say hey try just try it I saw a friend yesterday and he he's off you know he's doing the he's off gluten he's off cheese because he's got uh, stomach problems and he's seeing a naturopath but we all we know even naturopaths will you know confuse uh confuse ideas right and concepts and still do the acidic uh, uh prescriptions right and acidic stuff um so that's all i gotta say you know it's this is so cool what's happening so I thank you that. all <laughs> thank you pascal i i love how simple you make it sound too I could think i for... could i direct a little bit and say candy i'm interested in um what about you like uh can you talk more about um, how you're feeling? I know. And, I want to know um, too. 
<laughs> like in all this, do you, yeah, do you think you'll keep going or? That's what I wanted um, to know. <laughs> oh, oh they all want to know if I'm going to keep going. I, I guess I didn't finish that thing about the apples. You know, it really depends on produce and um, availability with apples, you know, because beets are a given. I can get, I know where I can always go and I can get beets, right? Um, celery, iffy. Um, it's just the apple thing, you know, right now they're like two forty nine dollars a pound at Whole Foods and it, I don't know. I might do a few days beyond this three days because day five, I used to always say day five, feeling alive. I used to always love day five, you know, and, um, and because I know going further would greatly help my lymph nodes right now. You know, this one right here at my right, uh, this is my left, my left elbow is a little tender or damn, Oh, pardon my word. It was. It isn't right now this morning. See there. See there. See what one day can do. No. Um, but anyway, it's, <laughs> it really isn't, though. I am keep going, wait a minute. I was just rubbing this thing yesterday. I really was. I was holding it up and I was going like this. So, um, <laughs> you know, I'm looking at, see this right here. You know, so we're working on that. And uh, I feel great when I... Uh, ever since I did the really long one, 122 days, um, I go with totally how I feel and I will keep doing a solid vacation until I feel resistance. And like I said, and that might be with, you know, getting the apples and can I get apple? Do I have, can I, can I get without any, you know, can I get a, as many as I want? And I, and, and yeah, and and have enough money for everything else. Beautiful. You get me, and you know what I mean. And then it's just also about about produce management. I might need to eat them to make them last longer. You know, so that's kind of where I am right now with just things. Yeah, because I can reach the same results by staying one hundred percent all raw or all fruit. Sometimes it would be easier for me personally to just probably do juices you know, or all fruit, when I go, oh, okay, I'm going to stay all raw. Well, here comes the nuts and seeds in the sauce, or oh, now I'm going to make a, make some falafel with some whatever, because I feel like, um, I was hearing someone had to have a, oh, no, let me rephrase that. I heard that someone decided to have an, they chose to have an ovary taken out. And, what I would say to the to the raw foodist or the regenerative lifestyle person, even if they don't, you know, what go back to they're not 100% raw, you can still be on a regenerative lifestyle. And you're working these things out, and then you know you you have some issues. And if those issues aren't going away, or maybe they went away and then they came back, and you're struggling and you can't get it, can't get it. I know what I would do for nine months, you know, and I know exactly what I would do before I had anything removed. And that would be cut out avocado, hemp seeds, chia seeds, 100%, no flax seeds at all, at all. And see if you don't get a difference. You know, I would do that before I went to the, to the hospital. <laughs> I would. And uh, so there, I was going to make a video and have that only for ISOD grads only, but you've heard it here. Um, because I'm, I mean, I'm kind of like nature path till I transition out of my body. I'm not going to be trans nature path until I get scared and then run to the doctor or run to the hospital because I think I'm dying. I'm not doing that. And if, and if this girl passes and, and you heard that I died in the hospital, know that I didn't want to go and that I never asked because I'm not afraid. Yeah. I'm not afraid to go into the nursing home and yank out the peg tube and bring them in and send them either up into my living room or my kitchen and use what I have to incorporate life in, until either that body, it, you know, that soul or whatever, until there's life or until there's death. However, what we see people go and they rush to the hospital and then they're using their chemistry or their tactics 
to what? Either to promote life or they're making them comfortable until they know they're going to take their last breath. So anyway, Pascal, I wanted to ask you and Kuba, what do you put in your coffee? Do you take it black? Do you use any kind of sweetener or cream? You know, I was, I was kind of slowly transitioning Brian off of coffee. He loves coffee. And um, so I went from coffee to tea. And then when I would go, when I would give him back a coffee instead of, so he used to like, um, you know, creamer and, and what is it? Three, I think he would say three sugar, three creamers. Well, I never have brought cow's milk in here, even after it, when he, when he moved in, no cow's milk. So I would do, I've made almond milk before I've made oat, oat milk before. And then I've tried, um, I've tried date syrup. And then what was the other sweetener? I tried agave. You know, some things don't dissolve right. And then there's the grit. And then there, because then he'll be like, it was all this stuff at the bottom of the cup. So I wanted to know with you guys, what do you put in your coffee? And because I'm, because another, let me say, when you say, oh, for me, it's coming off coffee. So I'm wondering, are you just coming off of the black coffee? And that is, is the stimulant or is there anything else in there? That's a great and, question. <laughs> Um, I'll just say, yeah, I don't sweeten my coffee, but I do put cream. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> um, I know, I know. I would have to say that actually 100%, like the high whipping cream, the higher fat is a lot better than milk. Okay. In terms of like, like acid forming, it's not. It, pure cream. You use dairy cream? Dairy cream? Yeah, yeah, dairy cream. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, cream and Watch butter, out. though, from my trainings in Germany with this healer, Dr. Jensura, some of you may be familiar and may not be. He wrote this book, Health by Purification. It's all on the alkaline acid balance. Definitely better to do like a full fat, like whipping cream or butter in your lifestyle rather than <clears throat> these milks, which cause oh, you hear it better. in my throat, these mucus, ah, yeah. right? Because <laughs> they're all, they're pasteurized, real good. And yeah. What about you, Kuba? Um, well, I actually, I guess like your, is it your partner, Candy, that you're talking about with the coffee? Yes. Your partner, right? Yeah, like your partner. I like to have like a nice creamy coffee. Like I don't like if it's like, what'd you call it? Studs or whatever. Like it's got to be like creamy, like from a, like that's why I've been going to cafes. So I never had coffee at home. I spent too, a little, <laughs> cost a little money, but. I would go to the cafe to have like that setting. And last year, I actually used to always bike an hour, like once a week to this cafe and I would get a chai latte. So I'm fine having chai latte because I find that chai, I, I would have black tea and I feel like a nauseous matcha. I feel like a nauseousness. Coffee, I don't for some reason, but chai tea neither. I think because chai tea is like less caffeine than the, like the black tea because it's like black tea and other ingredients. That's what I'm thinking. So I would always have that and I'd be fine with that. But because... I have to bike an hour to get to that. And where I live, there's not really cafes on that level. of like making a nice chai latte. They just have coffee and usually with soy milk. So like a cappuccino or a latte macchiato or just a coffee with milk. It would always have to be soy milk because I prefer almond milk or oat milk. But very few places have this. So I just kind of like this year kind of gave up and I just get like uh, I just get like a coffee with soy milk or a cappuccino with soy milk and i try to ask for brown sugar but I, I do sweeten it so me if the coffee is black i won't drink it it's like disgusting that's why i'm like why do i even drink this stuff it's like dead <laughs> you know it doesn't appeal to me at all but it's just like that latte kind of drink what and about the like chicory roots thing. and stuff Kuba? have you got into because like i know your background is polish and i know in poland they're very big on their coffee substitutes like their dandelion and chicory uh root yeah they do have this like wheat wheat coffee thing okay We're, okay it's like these wheat things if you're just looking coffee. for like a black base just use like a shaga mushroom and like yeah and i have that have stuff some at home. whip so i gotta get into that habit this spring but it's just going to the cafes and then when i'm there like now it's it's i admit that it's an addiction of having that like that kind of like that rush you know but also the, the setting cafe. sounds the setting sounds very, you know, uplifting. You like to take yourself to a cafe and emotionally yeah. that's very alkaline. Like I'm drinking this peppermint tea. And I'm really enjoying this with you guys. Mm. But by myself on a regular day, maybe I would 
I'll be like, this is a boring tea. <laughs> I know. Well, because it sounds like you like the froth milk. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I make a lot of almond and different types of nuts and yeah. seed milks at home. Coconut milk froth. Oh my god. So coconut good. milk when I can. It hasn't been around for a while. Coconuts, but yeah, I like to make my homemade. I like that creaminess. So I always loved milk, even though it it messed up my stomach. But so I think it stems from those days, childhood days of growing up with milk. And I used to the be able to drink like component. a liter. Feeling like Maybe, it, it yeah. makes you happy, yeah. So coconut so, yeah. milk, you can use um, like unshredded, uh, unshredded, unsweetened. I mean, no, I didn't, not unshredded. I don't shredded, mean to say shredded. Shredded, unsweetened coconut, right? Like a cup of it and put okay. it in the blender and then like three cups of water and blend it up, kind of like oatmeal. Isn't that wild? That's so how, good oh. how to make natural coconut milk. This was a cool conversation. We don't, we're not staying on too much longer, guys. So if you have any questions, you're catching us here live. You're on the spring reset. You're so welcome here. Let us know your questions. I wanted to comment on something, Candy, you said earlier about switching up the juice to kind of like, because like I've done 40 days on Concord grape juice and lemon, right? And at a certain point, you're just like, ugh like I'm okay now it's like the same taste you know like I'm good so on this if you guys want you can check out what I've been up to yesterday I was just like under one post just search my name Jeanette Anakini in the raw reset group and you'll see like a whole um, post where I'm just updating it in the comments portion so it's just one post so that way it's neat and organized. So today I'll show you what I'm up to. And yesterday I showed you, and I don't know, like I was switching up the juices and I felt very satisfied. I started with this um, full liter of fresh squeezed orange juice yesterday and today, like after I do my herbal tinctures and my herbal tea. And <clears throat> then I went to Concord grape and lemon, and then I went to sugar cane and lime. And that was wonderful. So I understand what you're doing for Brian and wanting to switch it up and keep it really interesting. So people can learn more what I'm doing on the spring reset in the group just by searching my name. And the other thing I wanted to say was just um, in regards to like my question, I asked Pascal earlier about like anything coming up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like if Candy or Kuba has any experiences you want to share for me, what I can say in that regard is definitely watching my pain body you guys familiar who's familiar with Eckhart Tolle you know pain body like these repeating patterns of these thoughts that often you know they were just ingrained in us because we were around the same people all the time as children and we took in their belief system so belief is just a thought that you think about all the time or a lot you really put a lot of energy in it. And this has to do with what Eckhart Tolle calls the pain body. So I've been watching mine. I watched it yesterday all day. I walked in the sun for hours watching, you know, and I went through different phases emotionally being off the fats and the proteins and the starches, just having this free vessel, this open connection to source that wants me to see these old patterns and how they're no longer serving me. And so I remember on the walk, the first bit of the walk, I was so crusty. People would walk by me and I'm like, oh God, like in my head, I'm like, why is this person walking by me? Like you guys might have heard me say this before. It can get where I'm in such a heavy state emotionally, mentally, that like, I don't even want to see anyone. I don't even want to talk to anyone, you know, I want to isolate, I just ugh, don't even look at me, you know, and then I did some, just like after observing it and hugging some trees and some singing, you know, it's almost like soothing my inner child when I hum and sing to myself, you know, maybe a little soft touch, I touch my palms like this, and I know everything's going to improve, everything's going to get better. And then all of a sudden, towards the end of the first walk I went out on, I'm like smiling at people and like giving the energy I want to put out into the world and feeling good about it. So just watching these waves last night, I got a little bit negative <clears throat> and I said, that's it. I'm just going to allow myself a banana and ice cream. You know, I, I felt like maybe if I had that, it would be kind to myself and keep me motivated on this journey even though waking up today I kind of like had a healthy regret about I know what you're saying about the bananas candy it's it felt like I didn't need to be doing that 
you know, like, it's like, I kind of wish I stayed more on watery, juicier, more hydrating stuff. But if anybody likes to speak to anything about that for these next few minutes before we shut down, that would be lovely. And if anyone watching live or catching the recording has questions about what we're sharing, please do drop that in the comments. We're here for you. Moment of silence. Yeah, I think um, that's interesting that you're regretting the banana and ice cream. I think where I am in my path, I, I don't want to say I'm perfectly unperf imperfect in that um, <laughs> I don't regret stuff so much these days. If I enjoyed that banana and ice cream, I feel like I would have just been like, oh, I enjoyed that. And maybe if you're feeling a ways, you can just try today to do a juicy day if that's what you feel for today. But tomorrow's gone. Like, don't worry about it. I hope you enjoyed every bite of that nice cream. Aww, Sounds epic. Thank you, Kuma. <laughs> That's so sweet. Yeah, the Buddhists have taught me a little bit about healthy regret. Just like seeing how something makes me feel and then being okay. like, okay, I don't really want to do that again, but I don't condemn myself. And it's with a lot of compassion and care. And I do have to say like the banana and ice cream is way better when you add coconut milk. And because I'm not having coconut milk as part of this three day reset, I almost prefer just not, you know, even just eating a spotted banana with some dates would have probably served me better than the ice cream. It's just the texture is not as nice. It's almost like I'm having like watery bananas or something. I don't know. Because how did you do it? So I did it, thanks, really good question. I just had frozen bananas, water in the Vitamix with acai powder, like a freeze-dried acai berry powder and uh, some frozen strawberries and mango. And like, it's, it's okay, like probably people would like it. Um, I did end up adding some agave nectar because I was like, okay, like it's not doing it for me because I'm so used to doing banana and ice cream with just like half coconut milk, half water, and then some ice. That's how I would normally when I'm not on the spring reset. So I've never put water. <clears throat> I've never put water in any of it. Oh, just bananas. Mm -hmm. Dates. Do you put dates? Um, I've done it in the food processor where it's just frozen bananas and then your other frozen fruit. And then you could put like a drizzle of maple or, you know, um, and then if I, or you could put the frozen bananas in a Vitamix and then like, I don't know. Usually My favorite is with coconut milk and cacao and I'm not having either of those. So that's the only, that was what the regret was Kuba. It's like, oh, I didn't enjoy it. You act, you hit it right on the head. You were like, if I had enjoyed it, then I wouldn't regret it. And absolutely. I agree with you Kuba on that one. It's just like, I was eating it and kind of like posting on Facebook and like taking a few bites like I wasn't like sitting there like oh my god it's so and that's how I wanted it to be <laughs> I wanted to be sitting there eating my traditional like coconut milk frozen banana um, whether it be acai or chocolate like I usually sw switch between those so but can yeah, I say me... something real quickly um, yeah, it's interesting it's because I hear a lot of people in colder climates and Canada being one, I guess, and it's, you know, a lot of times they say, oh, I can't do this. It's cold. I want something warm. But then you're speaking of, oh, I wanted banana and ice cream and I thought I would treat myself, you know, <laughs> so see how the thing is, because it's still probably cold there. You're but right. They're like, all oh, kind of excuses. <laughs> is that what you're getting at? They're excuses for not just doing what's right for our body, I guess like oh no I have to eat cooked food because I live in a colder climate or I have to have banana and ice cream even when I'm on a you know fruit feast or juice feast not the but one can that. put tomatoes in the Vitamix with maybe a date and a sliver of a jalapeno blend it till warm and I mean really warm till mm. maybe there's steam coming out of the top of the Vitamix when you take the lid off yes. you've got tomato soup you leave it on for like 11 minutes for that or something seven minutes oh gosh I don't know oh I don't know I don't know if I blend it that while, yeah just yeah just blend Make it, it a minute till I just kind of touch the side to where it's warm or take a little sip and if it's you know just you know till it's warm enough you know, sounds good tomatoes hot. jalapeno and dates yeah 
and Yum. and a sliver of jalapeno because you know I love jalapeno I put it just about in anything you could put a squirt you could put a little zip of lime lime or lemon in there if you want I typically just do tomatoes and it's and it's a variety of tomatoes that's that I think is what is key you want some those that start with the m and I can't think of the name and like maybe aroma or two but not you know and then you want some cherry tomatoes grape tomatoes oh. fine right the, the beet and then you know what I mean get you Mix a variety of campari campari tomatoes Ooh, or yum, maybe yum, that yum. that's it yeah and I would also be interested to know what anyone else's thoughts are for these next step because today's day two and then tomorrow's day three so looking ahead what, what's going on in your in your mind in your heart I have a plan. I don't know if, if you mind if I like promote a friend's thing, but uh, so what? we would love that, Kuba. Anything you like to promote? This is my, for my friend. To, to she's in everybody. Toronto and she's a health coach and um, hydrotherapist, cancer coach because she's she's overcome cancer with her like alkaline plant plant based journey, and she does a twenty one day juice cleanse twice a year kind of thing. And I was there. Uh, I was with them in September as a detox specialist, and now she's doing one April 1st. So I'm kind of like, this three days is a nice uh, thing to do before that. And then in a, less than a couple of weeks, we'll be starting April 1st. She usually does like five or six days transition, and then the rest on juice. So about like 15, 16 days on juice. I mean, why wouldn't all of us, you know, think about joining? That sounds amazing. I definitely, yeah, I definitely need the support and the encouragement group. to stay really in a detox. Yeah, state. I did it in September when I was in Poland before coming back to Mallorca. And it's just so much more fun with a group to do yes. plans, even like this, three days, you know? And we can learn That's... something because this is our very first, you know, reset, community reset. And we plan to do this every season change. So please do connect us to this person. What is her name? I'll share it in the group. Uh, it's Sasha. So she okay. goes by t Tenacious Sash on, on social media. Sashes are usually really good ones from what I know. It's yeah, a good she's omen. amazing. <laughs> Thank you for sharing so, that. Kuma. So I feel like this spring is like some cleansing time. And then like, you know, in Mallorca, it's start, April starts to get really nice. May is pretty much summertime. So after some, some cleansing, do some like building, training, get some sunshine and just enjoy like nature really really want to connect with earth more so as for the coffee thing i feel like i'm going to use the chaga and lion's mane powder i have to make the coffee replacement so that i still have that like brain rush because it's it's like brain food that lion's mane especially so and then use my homemade almond nut milks and coconut milks and stuff to make like my own lattes going that's forward. on a regular day yeah not when you're on a reset on a regular day. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Kuba, let us know how that goes. I love that the lion's mane sends uh, like oxygen and blood flow and you're going to kind of use that to substitute. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's an area of my body, like my head, that I've been meaning to regenerate more. Okay. Like my Thank sinuses you. and Thank my you. head. Oh, so I've been so wanting to use lion's mane for a long time. So why not use it as a coffee replacement with chaga? Yeah, so, so going good. forward, that's, that's yeah. my journey. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else like to share just for this next couple of minutes before we pop off? Pascal, what's your what's your <laughs> flow looking like? Tell us, Pascal. Oh, the springtime. You know, to be honest with you guys, I got hit real hard. Um, these past couple of weeks have been really tough on me. And um, so I have no plan because all my plans, my whole life I've made plans and they've never worked out. So uh, I'm done with plans and I, <laughs> um, I'm overcoming my perfectionism. I'm done with that. Um, I'm just, I just want to focus on, you know, the specifically what I have to do um, in terms of, you know, my path, my career path er, and all that. What so, about your creativity? Because I know you're very musical. Yeah, well, I've been focusing on that a whole lot too. Um, 
but um, honestly, you know, I've uh, it's uh, I don't know something. Uh, I, I guess I got discouraged a whole lot because the state of society or the state state of the world is so it's starting to it's getting i don't want to say it's getting worse but it's tough you know and um it's been tough on me too and um, i'm kind of tired right and i've felt like this before you know the the uh we're on a spiritual journey. We're, we're here on contract, so to speak, with ourselves to do something specific. And um, I have to realize and remind myself that I, I don't know exactly what that is for me. And, you know, in, in the Eastern uh, religions, were taught to um, I have to unlearn what I thought was true, right? Uh, I don't know. That's pretty much I'm just mm -hmm. tired, guys. Thank you for sharing, Pascal, and I want you to know that I'm here for you if you ever just need an ear. I really no, appreciate thank you. this connection. It's so nourishing to be with like-minded, you know, souls who who can change and grow and yeah, re mm -hmm. re kind of program <laughs> ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. Totally. So beautiful. Thank you so much for that intention and for sharing that. And I hope you do continue with your creative outlets because I know you love to mm -hmm. play music. And I know that when I'm creative, I feel really fulfilled. And mm -hmm. everything just flows better. And I'm, I'm receiving, you know, messages from my higher power. And yeah, also working with perfectionism and letting go of that. And yeah, just feeling so nourished with all of you. Just really grateful for this time we shared together. There was some questions that we really weren't seeing until now. Uh, the only one that I think we have a moment to address, if anybody likes to answer, is dear Jessica had, had started the spring reset with us yesterday, and she woke up a couple of times with anxiety in the night. So she was sleeping and she woke up. And, you know, I know I've had that, and I think that's a lot to do with the adrenals, the cortisol, you know, uh, the stress, the stress hormones, the fight or flight response. So not sure if anybody wants to answer that question. I would say jump on those teas, you know, chamomile tea. Um, what else? Um, Lemon hops. balm, peppermint. Yeah, stuff that'll calm you down. Okay. Um, Wonderful suggestion. I like that. You were uh, making really concentrated herbal teas too, weren't you, Pascal? Sorry, I know Pascal. Oh yeah, sure. You can do that. Really concentrate, and then when you when you feel that anxiety coming, you just drink that. Have that next to the bedside table, maybe. Sure. What were you gonna think or say? Sorry, Candy. Uh, there's a yoga pose they could do before bed. Um, it's great for the parathyroid thyroid. Um, and can help with that kind of thing too. It's um, oh, like plow pose. Well, you have legs plow up the wall. Basically. Plow or plow pose. Okay. That's what I was thinking. It's um, Rita Jean has it on her 21 day Perfect. yoga. Yeah. And yeah, so I, that would before bed. Sends all the blood flow to the brain, <clears> like because you're inverted. So also legs up the wall is a similar, maybe for more of a beginner who's not doing plow pose yet that's also really maybe great they could suggestion. rub their adrenal gland point in the arch of the foot right in the right in the center there that's probably what i would do too so good mm -hmm. little reflexology it's stimulate you know stimulate what's weak what's going on try to help yeah. it out is it safe to say that um, any issues you come up early on is most likely the adrenals or the kidneys yeah, the weakness is being shown. So the minute we start purifying the body and we get out of its way, 
everything is shown to us is brought right in front of our face. So I was waking up in a panic at the beginning of my detox detox journey too, Jessica. I was waking up like, <gasps> you know, and my heart was like out of my chest. And for me, that was all the stimulants I used to abuse as a raver, as a teenager. So, uh, <laughs> and also the, the fight or flight living on the hamster wheel, like constantly chasing money. Like, so, you know, I, I didn't have post-secondary. I just went right out of high school to like, okay, I want to be like, I want to make money and I want to be like someone in this world. And I just like, I don't know, went crazy, burning out my adrenals, stressing them out. So I just want to send you all love on this beautiful spring reset journey that we're embarking on together. Maybe we learn a little something from Sasha. Kuba shares that with us. And uh, for future resets, you know, we may, we may have more of a group setting. So we're coming together. This is the start of it. We're building this community and you are all so welcome here. Thank you each and every one of you for sharing. Candy, Kuba, Pascal, I love you so much. And all of those who tuned in, love you guys so much. If anyone has any last words, feel free. Love you too, Jen. Thank you. I did want to say one little message based on something Pascal said at the beginning of the call because I really resonate with how we're doing this alkaline lifestyle, but we're in an acidic world. So I just want to encourage anyone watching like to not beat yourself up too much because we're doing our best, but we're in an acidic world. So it's good to realize the reality of that. And like as hard as we work on our alkaline balance, it's like there's acidity all around. So it's like the world is kind of like set up to fail, but we have this like other consciousness. So. So just like be gentle with yourself in the journey out there. Oh my gosh. Thank you for those wise words, dear one. A lot of uh, try to, trying to tune out distractions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because as humans, we want to confuse and kind of complicate everything. You know, that's what the mind likes to do. Very nice. Candy, you're going more inward for this journey. Yeah, more meditation and stuff like this. Is this what you mean? Or? Oh, sure yeah please say happy belated to eli for a reason sending you so much love for a beautiful please. year ahead yeah thank you pascal any last thoughts or yeah well you know the spring's coming out the flower you know that flower is opening it slowly right and that's that's what we're everything changes you know and you gotta ride the wave and I thank you so much for you guys for organizing this and, and I can be part of this and we can all be part of this and, you know, stay on track, help each other out and just keep learning, uh, gaining more knowledge about ourselves and the universe and just, you know, that's life. <laughs> so thank you so much. <sighs> Ah, oh, namaste. Thank you. And so it is. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, lots of love. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.